everybody, my name is Matt. I'm with Next Adventure. Today I want to talk to you about the Rozzy Crypto. The Crypto is a really, really fun board from Rozzy and all. It works great in all sorts of different conditions and it kind of works as that sort of one board quiver. It's got a little bit more stiffness to it, which is something I like. Find you to lay it on its edge in really icy or cruddy conditions at the bottom of a run, it's gonna dig in just fine. And it uses magnet traction to help up that contact when you really depend on your edges the most. One thing that's great about this guy is its shape, its camber profile. It's got about 20% rocker in both the tip and tail, which gives it a nice, easy feeling. But it's got a little camber between the contact points, which fully encompasses your foot spread. And what that lets it do is give you a decent amount of power when you turn it. That being said, that little bit of rocker still keeps you from catching an edge in a lot of situations you otherwise might. And it's just a fun board that's easy to control, but easy to push at the same time. The Rossi Crypto is a little bit on the stiff end. I find that to be pretty beneficial considering my size and weight and types of mixed conditions we get here. It's totally fun on a powder day. It's got plenty of rocker and plenty of shape to get out there and really push through good snow. But if you get a day on the mountain with a little crust layer on top or it's really chattery down at the bottom, this board's gonna have no problem hanging on. The Rossi Crypto is definitely a directional board. You've got a lot more up in the nose. You've got a lot of lift there gives it a nice, fun feel when you do dig it into some powder. That being said, it still has a decent tail and 20% rocker out the back end, so a ride and switch is not gonna be a problem for you. The magnet traction that comes on the Rousey Crypto is really nice. It's not too overdone, but there's plenty of grip there to get those extra contact points going on ice. For those of you that aren't familiar with magnet traction, that's this kind of wobble along the edge of the board. You'll see it more and more these days, and what that really does for you helps give you more hot points of contact when you're on icy or really hard snow conditions. If you hit an icier spot on the mountain and you really lay this edge down, you're not gonna slide off like you will with some other boards. That magnet traction really helps dig in and get you good, strong contact when you need it most. Feel free to check it out in our store or online at nextadventure.net.